Hello from Blue Collar Bobbers. Uh, this is our latest creation. We haven't uh, done any new kits for quite a while, so we're really excited about this. This is the uh, Yamaha V-Star 950. Man, did it come out cool. I'm just panning around it so you can see the bike. Really a simple conversion to all we really did is just the front fender, rear fender, seat, and uh, side mount license bracket and the uh, light kits that's really about it gosh it's just a super easy conversion really nice long low bike i think this is the longest lowest bike that we do so be perfect for big riders little riders everybody the 950 is fuel injected belt drive and a lot of fun to ride gosh it's smooth alloy wheels we tried a drag bar on there, but this bike is so long that the drag bar was probably just a little bit too much of a reach for most people. You notice the, the signal lights up front, they move in a little closer, which makes them look really nice. And all our lights are DOT approved on this bike too, so if you live somewhere where you have to have that, that's a plus. I'm not really a good videographer, so bear with me if it's a little bit bumpy here. So there you have it. Let's get into the nitty gritty of this uh, Yamaha V-Star 950. We'll start with the uh, black nickel lights that we furnished for the uh, front of the bike. These things are absolutely beautiful and they're dual filament so you can either uh, wire them either dual filament or single depending on which country and the laws that you required. So, And then we also furnish everything to move the lights uh, closer to the headlight and still cover the wires and everything so it looks really nice and compact. Much cleaner than the great big stock setup. Beautiful lights. Next we have the front fender. Now the brackets are powder coated black and then the uh, we offer the fenders in either um, bare aluminum, powder coated primer ready to paint, and gloss black powder coat. The fender just takes a minute. You just basically remove the stock fender and then bolt this fender on. You'll notice the fenders are all drilled ahead of time too, so basically just bolt on. We even include this decal in the kit. This uh, air cleaner just looks too plain without this decal. It says star right there, and it's just really nice, and we uh, show you how to install it in the uh, videos. It just kind of finishes the bike. There's another view of the air cleaner right there. Hopefully I'm not in the uh, video. Before you install the seat and the rear fender, uh, you have to cut off the uh, rear stock rear fender supports, their passenger supports basically. Uh, and then after that, everything is super easy. You just bolt everything on after that. It's really easy to cut and the video shows you exactly where to do it. And we just reused a sawzall and went through real fast. Again on the rear fenders and oh by the way all our fenders are real thick aluminum so you'll really like them. They're super nice quality. Okay we offered in bare aluminum, uh, powder coated primer ready to paint and there again black powder coat. Okay if you'll notice the uh, struts are here. We have some clamps that clamp around the uh, swing arm here and a clamp that clamps around the front of the swing arm. Really super easy to install. Everything's adjustable for belt wear. And uh, just really, really nice, just simple bolt-on package. Hugs that tire. The reason it hugs the tire is because these, the fender is mounted to the swing arm. We get a lot of uh, questions as to uh, riding a passenger on the back of our fenders. The problem is the fender is going up and down with the suspension, so it would be really hard on the struts and the passenger to uh, ride someone on the back, so we don't recommend it. We have a ton of seats to choose from, so when you check out our website, you can pick the seat that matches your color combo that you're going to plan to do on the bike. This makes it really fun. You can paint the bike uh, any color you want, add the color seat you want. Gosh, it's just, just really a fun project. There's the seat mounted on the uh, bike. I'll show you how this... Another thing we did on this bike, we, really cool, is we uh, figured out a way to quickly remove the seat with just one machine screw. I'll show you how that happens. Our seats are the uh, best on the market. We use real thick shap leather on the seats. We buy the leather. We have a local person uh, upholster them for us. They're just beautiful. Like I say, we use the best uh, materials, inch and a half foam, just super comfortable, really nice looking seats. Okay, now on this seat, 
There's just one machine screw in the back. So if you remove this, it's just right here, then you can lift the entire seat off the bike. And that exposes the wiring and everything under the seat there, so in case you have to get your battery or whatever, you can just lift that seat off with one screw, and everything else stays on the seat. All the lighting and everything stays on the bike, so when you remove the seat, everything stays there. It's just a quick, easy way to get to your battery and all the wiring. We make everything uh, in Sandy, Utah, so uh, we're old machinists, we've been around forever, and we like to make super heavy-duty, nice stuff. All our brackets are powder-coated black, everything's thick steel. Uh, we just believe in super nice quality because these bikes are such, uh, such nice bikes, it would be a shame to put a bunch of junk on them. So we make everything right here in Sandy, Utah. And again, we have the same uh, black nickel signal lights in the back. They are also dual filament. You can see they blink and they uh, stay on all the time. And there's the uh, tail light. Now it's an LED super bright tail light. It has the light underneath to light the license plate. And it's a stop light and a tail light. And then on the license bracket, we furnish this as either the horizontal like this one. This reads like a car. And then we also offer it in the vertical. That's if you wanted to tuck in a little closer to the bike. Uh, you may want to check in the state you live in to see if the vertical or horizontal is legal. Most states are okay with both, so, but you want to check before you buy. Let me show you how bright this tail light is. It's super bright, so you'll be seen on this uh, with this tail light and signals. I'll get another view of the tail light. There's another view of the tail light. This is a 1929 Ford Model A tail light with the LED uh, guts inside. So it's just really nice, super nice quality. Powder coated black. So it matches the black nickel lights. The lights look a little shinier there, but really in real life they're kind of more black. Black look like black chrome. Love the back end of this bike. The rear fender almost looked disconnected uh, from the frame, which makes it look really cool. Real clean. Here's another view of the front of the bike. Again, you'll notice you can either have them as running lights and signals, or just signals, depending on how you hook up the wires. Just really simple. We have written instructions to uh, hook up these lights, so we make it real easy on you. You can do this whole entire bike by just leaving it on the kickstand too. You don't even have to take the wheels off, tires or anything. You can do the whole conversion while it sits on the kickstand. You'll notice we added the uh, Vance and Heinz uh, slip-on muffler on this one. It has a nice sound. And then we wrap the pipes. They're a little bit of a stinker to wrap, but we actually wrapped the pipes while they were on the bike. And these are all, uh, we show that how to wrap the bike, or the pipes, in the instructions also in the videos. So there you have it. Uh, what a fun bike. You can do this whole uh, conversion probably a weekend or a little bit more maybe. We like to encourage people to take a little extra time to do a super nice job. But, you know, really, it's just a super easy, fast conversion. Really fun way to totally change the look of your V-Star 950. And this thing's really nice to ride. Super comfortable. You'll just love it. Basic tools. That's all you need. And a Sawzall. So there you have it. We are Blue Collar Bobbers. And you can either call us. We do return our phone calls. And you can also look us up uh, on the internet. It's www.bluecollarbobbers.com, obviously, or just Google it. And then also you can uh, uh, email us. It's just bluecollarbobbers at gmail.com, and we'll get right back to you. Thank you, and have a nice day.